After five months on the picket line, Hollywood screenwriters could be headed back to work. In a joint statement, the WGA and the Alliance Motion Picture and Television Producers says they've reached a tentative agreement for a new three-year contract. Details are still under wraps as writers were seeking better pay, increased staffing minimums, and protections against AI. Picketing is now suspended, but the Guild warned its 11,000 writers will not return to work until the ink on this deal is dry. I believe that the deal that we're working on right now is incredibly important for the longevity of not just the Writers Guild, but the entire entertainment industry. Leadership votes are set for tomorrow if the language is settled. The deal comes as talks between striking actors and the studios have stalled. But sources with SAG-AFTRA here in New Mexico tell us that if a deal is reached with the Writers Guild, a deal with the Actors Union may not be too far off. While there's a new hope new toward a possible end of the ongoing writers and film actors strike, thousands of New Mexicans remain out of work while the industry is paused. But a New Mexico chili farmer is now trying to help those workers make ends meet. News 13's Madison Connor explains. A conversation I had with one fellow, he's, he's very, uh, very nervous and very scared about how he's going to make his next mortgage payment. Since the Writers Guild strike started back in May, thousands of New Mexicans in the film industry have been out of work. It's just been interesting actually pinching pennies and learning to save when I haven't been. Hoping for work to start back up. Other folks are like thinking I'm just going to go take a full-time job somewhere else just to make ends meet. That feeling is something chili farmer Rick Sanchez is no stranger to, having worked on films himself. I was very blessed to work on a lot of big features, Terminator, Salvation, Avengers, but things with longevity was uh, the night shift and better call Saul. Sanchez spent 12 years in the film industry before the pandemic shut everything down. I went into farming because I had no work because of the shutdown. Now he's using his farm to help workers who are waiting for a restart. There's a huge demand for restress, especially around this time. Mm -hmm. So I figured, wow, what if I invited some of my film family to come and tie these restras up mm -hmm. and then through the sales of the restras we can put money into these folks pockets. There I am stringing up restras <laughs> for the first time in my life. Well he knows it isn't much. I figured it's kind of a quick way to help put a few bucks in their pockets to pay some bills, put some gas in the car. Sanchez hopes he can help fill a major gap in New Mexico's job scene. But it's not hard. I'm just First time, I'm hoping they all stay together. Madison Connor, KRQE News 13. Sanchez says anyone from the film industry who is out of work right now is welcome to get involved. More information on the farm can be found at alwaysonkrqe.com.